Okay, so so welcome to this video. Uh, so in this video, we'll talk about uh, the portfolio challenge that we have. So let's start with uh, the ISEC 20. So we'll talk about ISEC 20, Dow Jones Industrial, and our very own PSEI. So for ISEC 20, this is day eight. Yeah. So we started when the ISEC 20 is at, uh, opened at 1098.62, uh, September 25, yes. And at close of October 2, ISEC 20 closed at 1122.88. It's now uh, plus 2.21% versus the start. Here are our um, stocks in the portfolio. Cairn Homes at 0.839, it's now 1678 for us. CRH at 30.83, Glanbia at 8.86, Hibernia Rate at 0.99, Irish Residential at 1.39, Smurfit Kappa 34.48, Total Produce at 1.14. Our total portfolio is now at 11,300.50. Okay. So the divisor is at 1,098.62. F22, yes. So today our corresponding index is 1134.30 and we're now ahead of the ISEC by 11.42 points. Uh, we are also ahead of the original portfolio by 391.5 and that is 3.58% up versus the original portfolio. So it's 3.58% up, the ISEC 20 is up 2.21, so we're now 1.369 up versus the ISEC 20 index. So we're doing better than the ISEC 20 portfolio and now let's go to the Dow Jones industrial average um, what day is it today anyway so we started last September 14 and at close of October 2 uh, Dow Jones industrial average is at 27,682.81 um, that is already 0 0.06 percent versus its opening uh, versus the start of the portfolio. Uh, Cisco is at 38.27. Gold, go, go, Goldman Sachs is at 199.9. Honeywell 165.61. IBM at 120.57. Intel at 51.01. JP Morgan 97.89. Merck 80.80. UNH at 311.98. While Verizon is at 59.24. Total value of the portfolio is at $10,285 and that's corresponding to an index of 27,398.13. So versus the original, we are still down 0.97%. There's a huge um, increase from last week because we were down 2.33% last week and now we're down only 0.97%. Now versus the market, we're still below uh, by 284.68 points and we're now below the market by 1.03%. I don't know what's wrong here. Well, the market went up from negative 1.78% last week. Now it's plus 0 0.06. We were down 2.33% last time. So that's a difference only of 0.55. Now we're down 0.97. So I think the increase the increase of uh, the market which is about 1.84 uh, is better than our increase yes that's the only way to put it so we're still performing poorly in in the US now for the Philippine stock exchange index we have a huge uh, jump up of prices of the Philippine stock exchange the index closed at 5999.4 it's now up 1.96% versus the original uh, portfolio. 
the original index. Uh, this is our portfolio. The member stocks of our portfolio is AGI at 6.98, BPI at 65.8, DMC at 4, GDK at 395, LTG at 8.65, Metro Bank at 39, Security Bank at 92.3, Globe at 21.20, Mega World at 3, RLC at 14.28. Cash 4,500 So our portfolio is now at 102,852.50. This is now uh, um, 2.852% up versus the original. Uh, we went up also uh, by about 0.2% uh, since last time. So if you factor in the ratio, we are now at 6,052.03 uh, versus the market. We are still leading by 52 points and we are still ahead 0.89% versus the market. So take note that our increase, uh, our portfolio is now 2.852%. This is day 32 and this is corresponding to about 28 and a half years if you place it in the savings deposit. Yeah, so that's it for our rundown of our uh, stock market uh, challenge. So right now we are doing better than the ISEC 20. Uh, we've overtaken it and we're still leading the, the race against the Philippine Stock Exchange although the market is fast, is fast catching up on us while we're still performing poorly versus the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So that's it. Thank you very much for listening. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and ring the notification bell. Uh, so that you will be uh, informed if there are new videos coming up from Dream Channel TV. So thank you for watching. May all your trades be 10 baggers. Thank you very much.